For the following exercise, determine whether the relation represents y as a function of x. All right. So in order to determine this, we will follow a series of these three steps at the bottom left. The first thing is to determine whether y is a function of x, we first have to solve this equation for y. So let's do that over here on the left-hand side. So we have 2x plus y squared is equal to 6. So if I solve this thing for y, right, I have to first subtract the 2x on over to the right-hand side. And that would leave me now with y squared. y squared is equal to now negative 2x plus 6. And then to solve for just y, I don't want to know y squared, I want to know just y. We have to take then the square root okay, of both sides. Now you have to remember this. Anytime you take the square root of a squared value, you will always get the positive and negative value for that thing inside of the radical. Okay, so uh, that being the case, I put a little plus and minus y. Okay, so the square root of y squared is positive or negative y. Well, why is that? Because if I took, let's say, a positive 2 and I squared that, that would be 4, right? And if I took a negative 2 and squared that value, it would also be 4. We would get the same answer whether I talked about positive 2 or negative 2, all right? So that's why you always have to type, or not type in, but write down that the answer here whenever you take that square root is going to be plus or minus, okay? So now when we do that on the right-hand side, we now are just left with negative 2x plus 6. Okay, so now what I need to do is, again, I, I don't want to, I need to know just why. Here I have positive and negative. So what I can do is I can just bring these signs on over to the left, uh, excuse me, to the right-hand side. Right? I can just bring them on over to the right-hand side. Now that would then leave me with y, one second, y is equal to then plus or minus radical negative 2x plus 6. And this is now the case in which, and I'm just going to move this up slightly so I have a little more space. And now this is the case where I can now break this up into two separate equations so we can graph it in our calculator. All right, so one of the equations is going to be the positive value on the right, and the other equation will be the negative value. So here we're going to have y is equal to radical, this is the positive one, negative 2x plus 6, and also then y will equal negative radical negative 2x plus 6. Okay, so these are the two things you're going to be looking to graph in your calculator. Now, let's graph that in the calculator, all right, and let's see now what we get. All right, so take a minute to plug it in. I'm gonna draw it out what it should look like approximately. And I bet when you graph those two things, you get something that kind of looks like this, I would assume. Right? Something like this, where it's basically symmetric about the x-axis. You know, this essentially looks like a parabola, right? But just rotated 90 degrees. All right, so that's great. So that's what the graph looks like. Okay, so then the third now thing after you graph it is to now pass it through the vertical line test. All right, so let's do that. All right, so we also note that the vertical line test says that if a vertical line intersects the graph only once, then the graph is a function. So what you want to do is you want to draw a vertical line through your graph. And if it intersects it more than once, the graph is not a function, right? So it intersects the graph here and here. Well, it failed that vertical line test, and therefore the graph is not a function. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.